much. I'm The goalkeeper, could this be the most hated job in the whole of the sports community? You'll have to tell me guys, because I don't know. Are they heroes or villains? On days, they're going to be loved. On other days, they're going to be hated. They can be loved or hated on the same day. Who in their right mind would apply to be a goalkeeper? Let's ask one why he has applied to be a goalkeeper. I like big ass juicy balls flying at me. Reminds me of Vietnam. Yeah, back in that war. Yeah, so I am not going to be talking to any goalkeepers anytime soon because that kind of made me pee myself a little bit, you know? But anyway, what you're going to back from now is the fails of the goalkeeping world, or as we like to call them, the villains, because we just all want to repeatedly punch them in the face every time they make a mistake. But I want to pick up on this one being shown right now. I don't know what he was doing. The ball gets passed back to him by a teammate, and he decides to do a... F breakdance move in the middle of the pitch and you know it ends up in him ruining the game for the team and I'm pretty sure they lost I'm pretty sure he has never been seen again but then again once in every blue moon there's a beautiful save which makes men and women get that tingly feeling which leads to sexual intercourse and sexual relations and I get it a lot because I see some beasts and this is what you can be showing now and I'm pretty sure most of these saves which I'm showing you now are worthy of calling the goalkeeper hero. They, they deserve that title. They've done well. So anyway guys, moving on now, we're going to speak to two goalkeepers after a game. One which is a hero and one which is a villain. <laughs> oh my god man, the match. I'm, I'm so proud right now. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think I made some really good saves today, but you know, my inspiration is s and He's such a great goalkeeper and you know, I just want to really make him proud. So I hope you're proud of me s and <laughs> What I'm doing today? I'm gonna have some sex. Ha! <laughs> I just got told that my mommy don't love me, <laughs> and my girlfriend left me. <laughs> I lied. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Can you honestly say you never wanted to be Will Chamberlain? Or maybe Shaq, one of the greatest centers of all time? Or maybe you want to be the best passer in NBA history, like Magic Johnson? And who could say they never wanted to be MJ? Six NBA rings, five MVP awards. I mean, that's incredible. They've paved the way for us. It's time to follow in their footsteps. So Shane Russell tries to do that. At 23, he was the rookie of the year for the New York Knicks, traded from Toronto, his hometown. And now he's here trying to bring them to the NBA championship against the Heat. You gotta wonder, can a youngster like him break records like them? So here we are in Eastern Conference Finals Game 5 against the Heat, taking on Ray Allen, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. No, not the big three. Uh, Dwayne Wade was actually injured in this series. But if you're wondering how we got to this point, after a loss in Game 1, we won back-to-back -back games in 2 and 3, but then I lost our last game at home in Game 4, so we're here in Game 5 and looking to close out the series. So you can see here Ray Allen d up on me. He actually locked me down pretty well in this game, so I just dished it to Melo, and he knocked that shot down. But speaking of defense, Ray Allen cuts to the basket. I pick up a huge taste down block, looking like LeBron, but Udonis Haslam is going to go ahead and lay that one up and off the glass after the rebound. So here Ray Allen gets crossed over by the behind-the-back move, and I hit that three from downtown. I really don't get how he fell right there. But you can see here, driving to the paint after a nice crossover at the top of the key, and I end up getting that two-hand throw down to go. So once again, Ray Allen covering me before I just kick it to Isaiah Thomas, and he's going to drill that three right there. And I just love when Hall of Fame pulls out those double teams. Speaking of double teams, I blow past them with my speed right there, and I get that dunk to go. So d up on me is Mike Miller before I call for that pick right there from Chuck Hayes. He does roll, but I go with the Julius Irving layup, the Dr. J layup right there. Take a second look at it. It looked incredible. I didn't even know they had that animation in the game. But you can see Landry Fields, who came over in the trade from Toronto early in the season with me, throws me a full court pass, and I get that dunk to go. Now, 
Rashard Lewis passes it to Norris Cole. I close out and I get the huge monster block on Cole right there. So there's going to be no shots going for him right now. So now D and up on me again. They bring the double team leaving Isaiah Thomas wide open. So he's going to drill that right there. But you can see here comes the paint and I go ahead and get this dunk right here and bring this game to a 16 point game. So you can see here I pull this three and you know what I was doing, beasting. beasting. So I'm back now. I'm back into this one. You can see here they bring the double team again. I decide to go to the paint and I lay it up and nothing to it. I get that layup to go right there. So you can see here, driving to the paint, I got two men guarding me, I hit them with the European two-step, and I get the blocking foul on LeBron and the N1, so we're back in this one, somewhat. <laughs> so you can see here, I get the assist to Armari Stoudemire, who gets the dunk under the rim, but then you see I cut to the paint, and I get a dunk of my own right there. So, it just seemed like I was playing in another 1-on-5, on 2-on-5 five, five game. It just seems like this series has been me versus the Heat. You know, the entire series going the whole time. But you can see here, they throw up the alley to LeBron. And, you know, that's that's just how you know you're on Hall of Fame. When LeBron stands under the basket, catches an oop, and just kind of lays it up like it was nothing. But you can see here, I drew that three right there to bring me to the 40-point mark before driving to the paint and then laying this one up right here. So we were pretty much out of this one at this point. The Miami Heat, I couldn't even say squeaked out of a win here. They absolutely obliterated us in this game. They got the easy victory. We get the loss. So going into game six, we're down 3-2 in the series of the Eastern Conference semifinal.